Here's Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 513 on this Back to It Monday. Let's jump right into your forecast headlines for the week. Not a bad start to the work and school week. We already know, of course, about the partial solar eclipse. It's going to peak around 315 this afternoon. We'll start to see some coverage just shortly before 2 o'clock. Maximum coverage for us will be just shy of 77%. It'll grow the more you head to the north and west, but again, peaking around 315 and things sort of returning to normal just shy of 430. Okay, well, hey, here's something else that's uh, going to be nice for you. Temps rebounding into the 70s much of this week after being stuck in the 60s the last few days. We can be seeing some spots push 80 degrees probably. By the middle of the week, if we don't get there on Tuesday, certainly Wednesday, a better shot for that overall cooling off come Thursday and Friday. That's our next round of showers and storms, and that's something we're considering for a first alert action day. Let's get a running start at this, shall we? Wednesday afternoon, watch this line of showers and storms, long range modeling here, start to work its way in probably late Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening will be the prime times to watch for some gusty winds and potentially some storms capable of pinging severe limits. So there's a lot we're going to have to watch into Thursday night and Friday afternoon. We start to dry out. That's going to set us up actually for a pretty nice weekend. Details on that momentarily. Let's get you through the short term. Just reemphasizing here this afternoon. We should have good viewing for that eclipse. You will need the glasses. Cannot stress that enough. At no point will you be able to just take them off because we're not in the path of totality or really anywhere close to it. Clouds will start to fill in as we head through the evening and overnight hours tonight. Can't rule out a couple of stray showers as we head through late morning, early afternoon tomorrow. That'll also be the same case as we get into Wednesday. Plenty of clouds, though, in the meantime. A couple of passing showers, worst case scenario, and variable clouds by the time we hit Wednesday afternoon. More substantial cloud coverage, though, by the time Thursday rolls around, as you saw with that round of showers and storms coming in. Those rain odds starting to get sky high. Uh, Bob King GMC first alert sky cam high atop the Merkison building. A sky high view there. Temp of 48 degrees as we pull in the stats from the airport. Calm winds, dew points in the lower and middle 40s region wide. Not adding a wind chill though, because again, there really is no wind to speak of. Low 70s today, again, continuing to make gains. It's actually where we should be here for early April in the lower 70s. That peak, once again, 315. As we talked about earlier, yeah, you don't want to be driving as the eclipse is happening into pull over. You know, you, you don't want to be on the road as that's going on. Partly cloudy skies remaining dry tonight, 55. And from there, we'll go deeper into the 70s, but variably or mostly cloudy skies and an opportunity for a stray passing shower. I think a better chance of that the farther inland you go. Clouds sticking around, your rain chances shooting up for Thursday and Thursday night. Perhaps a leftover shower Friday. That's something we really have to resolve model-wise. Figure out when most of these showers are getting out of here, but probably just something first thing in the morning. And check out next weekend here, Kim. Saturday, Sunday, middle and upper 70s, back in the lower 80s. There's a nice taste of mid to late spring for you. It should be nice. It's like warm. we have another nice weekend without, you know, the rain getting here yeah, before the weekend. Exactly. We were <laughs> stuck in that pattern for a long time. Now it looks like uh, going to be paying dividends for us, right? Right, right. And I know you want to talk a little bit more about the eclipse. Mm -hmm. Folks not to expect exactly what we saw several years ago. It's yeah. going to be a little different. Yeah, this has been a, a constant question I've been getting is, hey, you know, uh, you know, viewing obviously the glasses and everything. Remember, in 2017, we were way closer to the path of totality. You'll likely see the skies dim just a little bit, but it's not going to be, unfortunately, the same thing for us. That said, pretty substantial to have 77% coverage yeah. of the sun. So you don't want to discount that at all. <laughs> I know some kids are probably out of school to enjoy the eclipse as well, but you need the glasses. Sunglasses won't work. Any other home remedy is not going to work. Uh, it has Have to be ISO 12312-2 glasses. All right, Gabe, thanks very much.